have these gardens. Well, here's my stand. So I've got this stand, which seems to pay out uh, the most. So uh, once it's done saving here, we'll move over to the... Um, so as you can see, the Hofleden stand, uh, especially for things like eggs, because I do raise chickens, always seems to have a fair price. Uh, same with the edge grain vault, which I kept here. Uh, right here, I keep on my property because, hey, I'm lazy. I just like having that feeling of being able to sell product here and buy product here. These are my favorite mods. Um, you know, they, I, I, I think that they enhance the game. You do pay a little extra for product out of them. You do pay like a 10%, I think, fee more than you would if you went and got it at the store. So I don't really consider it cheating. Greenhouses. Absolutely love these greenhouses. Uh, you can download these in the mods too. These are money makers. And the more you do, the more money you make. So again, it's showing on that 47% uh, water, manure fill at 66. So I've got that greenhouse there. I've got this one here. I think this one's cucumbers. I've got several gardens over here planted. As you can see, I'll zoom out a little bit. So what I do is I just drive by with my water and manure trailers and just fill each tank just like this. Just imagine there's a trailer on there. I go over, I make sure that these guys are looked after. These greenhouses here, these are tomatoes. This is a lemon greenhouse. And then I've got my UK chicken, uh, chicken ranch here that um, seems to produce eggs pretty slow. But I am playing seasons here, so we'll go over and look. So, so far, I've only got five pigs. Why? Well, uh, oh, they're dirty. Um, the reason is I want to breed them. I want to see uh, if I can breed them. So I've got five right now. Chickens are doing okay. Uh, they need food. We're going to get to that. And then I've got a smaller chicken uh, uh, thing here, the one that comes with the game, the small chicken coop. These guys I'm breeding for meat, so I'm gonna try and reproduce, and I wanna get those trophies. So I bought this land. So this is farm field three. And what I did was, I'm gonna steal the water here. I got this uh, mod, this tank here, mod. So we're gonna give them a little bit of water. Seems to be okay. Seems to be doing okay. I've got five of them. So what I did was I broke field three up into workable space, farming. I've got sweet beets here. I, I made another field here that I created. And then I planted these trees here, these big sweet trees. Or are they pine? I can't remember. This is another little feature that I added here. I've got the uh, my little fuel tank, some little decorations that I think are pretty cool, tires and stuff. I'm not done. Uh, of course, you know, I'm obsessed with cleanliness. So uh, this little workshop, I just find this workshop is easy to get to for a quick repair. Little dumpsters, some barrels over there. Another uh, unique building. So in this building, I keep my, um, and this one's different, you have to go inside. So as neat as this building is, it's a pain because in order to open the doors, you have to go inside to do it. You can't open them from the outside. But I like that the first two bays are drive through because these trailers are a pain in the butt, I tell you. Uh, so that, gets, that makes it easy for me to access them. And of course, I go all out on my, uh, my combine. So I've got a couple different wheel setups here. Just playing with them, just seeing you know what I like. I got the folding. Um, I didn't go with a John Deere header, uh, just for sake of um, it's just a pain. So uh, this folding one is much better and easier to uh, to kind of get around. And then I store my other planter in here, the one that I use if I want to do corn or whatever. So that's wide open. I've got a lot of play here to play with the game. Um, over here, I've got my pig food, so I'll get back in my tractor. This is my, this is kind of my workhorse tractor here. Kind of love this thing. I like getting in it and driving around, you know, the cockpit view. Um, let's go feed the pigs real quick while I'm here, if you guys don't mind. 
there with me here. So uh, I don't know. I don't know if you guys like it, if you think it's got a lot to do. I, I still got a lot more to uh, experiment with, to try and play around with. I have put a lot of hours into this particular game. I think I've got 70, 80 hours invested in it already. I know, crazy, right? The nice thing about this game, though, is that you can walk away. You can hire a guy to do your fields and go do your own dishes. This app is pretty cool. My last name is Benito, so I kind of set this up. Glows in the dark at night. I don't really like the rocks, so I think I'm going to get those rocks out of there. But uh, this is just a cool little feature. If there's a Canadian flag, I couldn't find it. But hey, I love America, so why not? I'm a... I'm an American trapped in a Canadian body. This is by far my favorite trailer. These things are massive. And you can form a train. So, I got this truck. I don't really need it. Um, but I just, I, I wanted to make sure I had enough power. Because I didn't know how many of these I was going to use. But when I'm out and I'm fully, uh, fully running, uh, doing my harvesting. Oops, a little bit dirty. Mm, my OCD is kicking in. <laughs> I'm going to have to do something about that. But anyway, we'll get to that later. I decided to invest in a Sweet Beat. Sweet Beats. Coming at you. Soft music from yesterday. Anyway, I bought this massive cart. If you guys follow Larson Farms, I love those guys. I watch them. This is the cart they actually use on their farm. Uh, and because I'm a big fan of uh, Larson Farms, I went with the Case Quad. To be honest, I'm not really a fan of this thing. Uh, but they have it, and they use it to haul these carts around. And it's a simulator, so I want to simulate what it's like on Larson Farm. This is an amazing plow. I love this. I got two of them. The nice thing about this plow by John Deere, again, it's a mod, is it's got a trailer hitch. So I think it's 20 feet, or maybe it's 12 feet. If you get a planter that is the same width, uh, behind it you can plow and uh, plant at the exact same time so you can use the uh, you know this thing I think is close to 700 horsepower and the uh, the big um, the big bud of course is 1100 horsepower we know it's insane so it can definitely pull it so we just hook it up hook it up to the planter and away we go why do I have two I own so many fields so it just saves me time to send out a couple tractors um, in the spring to plow it up. Last but not least, I've got this little one here that I just added. Um, the verdict is still out. I'm going to show you one of the things I don't really, that's kind of annoying. I'm going to park over here. I'm going to kind of put the water tank down. I'm going to drive over here and not a lot of headroom. I like it. It matches the other buildings. And as I buy some equipment, I think I'm going to buy some lawn, lawn cutting equipment. And I'm going to store it in here. I don't have it yet. I haven't really needed it. But as this thing raises, see what it's doing? So I just, you kind of have to lower it, the weeder. Oop. That's a bad angle for me to try and drive. So as long as you lower it and then put it in there, it works just fine. So yeah, so there's that, and uh, again, it's got the really nice doors. So we're gonna get out, and I'm gonna show you the uh, same doors, same uh, same mod developer, DM. Uh, I should go and look at this guy's name, give him proper credit here. There he is. It is... I don't want to hit uh, X on it and sell. Anyway, that's the logo, guys. You find them in the sheds on the mods. Uh, Steel Construction Hall was the other one that I had shown you. And then, of course, these guys are the best. These huge ones. You can get them in different colors, too. They're amazing. If you guys have not seen the milling machine, it is a must-have. Especially if you've got animals, it works as a snow blower. You can use it to pick up just about anything. I use it in the manure. 
and I basically, whenever there's manure, I blow it. I, I put it on the, I don't blow the manure, but I, uh, I put it on the front of this tractor. I'm going to fly over there real quick. I put a trailer next to it. I might not have a trailer there right now. We shall see. I'm thinking about putting horses here. I got lots of room to play around with this. Let me know what you guys think, though, so far of my decorating. So what I would do is I would normally put a trailer here. I've got a little bit of manure. I don't have a trailer to properly demo this for you. But you can see the manure there. We are going to pipe out. Turn on the milling machine. Unfold the pipe first. I thought I did that. There we go. So it's on. Now normally if there was a trailer there, the pipe would just automatically point to the trailer. And work. So as you can see down in the bottom right hand corner, it's loaded up. So it does hold a little bit of material, whatever it is that you're milling. But we're gonna just uh, leave that alone for now. But a must have mod if you guys are into animals. If you guys are... Uh, cows and pigs and uh, any animal that basically produces manure. Just park the trailer right next to it and use that machine to clean it up. And away we go. So that's pretty much it. That's my tour of my farm on the Welker farm map. Uh, I added all these trees uh, back here. As you can see, I've got quite a bit of cash. It took me a while. It did take me a while to build that up. Like I said, I've got quite a few hours in. Um, it's been nothing but fun. This has been my favorite map. Large, flat fields. I didn't buy this field over here. And the reason why, nah, I like to cut through it. I don't want to ruin my own crops. But for some reason, you don't ruin crops, other people's crops. Now, if I owned this field and I was trying to cut through it, it would ruin it. But I don't own it, so we're good. Oh, one last thing before I go, I'm going to show you guys how to do the trees here. It's just, it's pretty simple. These are money makers. And the more you get, the better. You just walk up. As you can see, each one fills up. I like to do it from this angle. I go in, drive up until I get the prompt that says water, and fill it up. Every day I do this. Hey, it's a simulator. <laughs> I was joking around. It's like, I feel like I'm really at work, but I'm just not actually getting paid to do all this. But, oh, well. I get the experience, right? I'm the armchair farmer. So, and then you just repeat with a uh, trailer full of manure. If you don't have manure, you can buy it at the, um, the cell station that I put. My goal is to get these pigs up and going. I just added them start breeding pigs and then start using their manure and kind of make it self-sufficient and make even more money see how everything works it's like an ecosystem anyway guys let me know what you think uh you know of course i expect there's going to be differences of opinion and everyone's going to have ideas how to do things better i'm open to ideas let me know that'd be great shout out to tim out there i know he's out there trying working hard this is funny. Watch this. I discovered this by accident. I was driving past the stand to go do my gardens. And the prompt came up. If I can get there. Water. What am I going to do here? Now watch my money. Up in the top right corner. You can sell water. <laughs> it's kind of a cheat. But I just made $1,000 selling off that water. So now i got to go back and reload over here to my water pond. But anyway, yeah, that's uh, that's unique. Uh, you can literally just go. You can do this all day, just build up money if you want. Somebody was asking about uh, mods to help you make money. Fill it up and go sell it. You get about anywhere between a grand and two grand every tank full. Anyway, guys, I'm out. Thanks for watching.